Stocks staged a late-day comeback on unconfirmed rumors that the Federal Reserve is set to make an emergency interest rate cut ahead of next week's regularly scheduled meeting. The Dow erased nearly all of a 200-point plunge to dip a point. The Nasdaq Composite gave back 24. There's no end in sight to the real estate slump. Home resales nationwide tumbled 8% last month to the lowest level in eight years. Stricter lending standards and higher interest rates are making it more difficult for people to qualify for mortgages. That pushed the number of unsold homes on the market to more than 4 million. And the average price of a home nationwide continues to fall down 4% to just under $212,000. Economists say falling home prices could lead consumers to pull back on spending and that could tip the economy into a recession. One of the nation's top home builders is slashing prices to combat the housing recession. Sentex says it's lowered home prices in many neighborhoods to levels that would enable buyers to qualify for government-backed mortgages. And Merrill Lynch is biting the mortgage bullet. The Wall Street brokerage giant swung to a loss last quarter after a nearly $8 billion mortgage hit. That's your Money Watch. Track the latest business headlines at cbsnews.com. In New York, I'm Alexis Christophorus.